I've wanted these toys since I was a kid. And I can't believe I actually have these. Austin's Animals, collecting all things furry and fantasy. If you grew up in the early 2000s, it was a great time for action figure collecting. You could get Star Wars anything. Heck, there were Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer action figures. But one thing you didn't see action figures of was video games. For whatever reason, video games had not yet entered that pop culture mainstream as like a thing yet. It was so odd because movies would come out and get huge fun toy lines and great video games would come out with all sorts of fun cartoon characters and there was nothing. The first video game I can remember playing was Super Smash Bros. Melee on the GameCube. It introduced me to this amazing world of Nintendo and I wanted to have these characters to play with and enjoy as toys. See, I'm, I, here's a secret. I'm terrible at video games, I'm awful at them. And perhaps there's no video game I'm worse at than The Legend of Zelda. Seriously, I am awful at these games. I have no sense of direction. I can't solve puzzles for crap. And I just run around Hyrule in circles. And I played almost all of them. I grew up with the Master Collection for GameCube. It was an amazing game that gave you basically all the Zeldas. The only, to this day, the only Zelda I've beaten all the way through is the Ocarina of Time 3D. How embarrassing is that? But I've played most of Wind Waker, most of Breath of the Wild, and I just get stuck somewhere in the middle. But, you know, when I was a kid, I just loved running around, you know, all of uh, Hyrule and playing Majora's Mask, talking all the NPCs. The, the Zoras were like fish people, and the Gorons were like rock people. Fish people, rock people. I mean, for a kid into Star Wars and Aliens, it was an exciting world full of characters. But there were nothing, no, no toys to buy to speak of, except for one. I had this singular Link action figure from Toy Biz. And this is my original childhood Link that I played with and loved. This is actually the figure I owned. This was the one Zelda toy I had. And because I, I was on the internet in the 2000s, looking up Figure Whelm, learning all about action figures, I knew there was a complete Legend of Zelda toy line in the 1990s that I had just missed by Toy Biz. It came out about four years before I was born. And by the 2000s, those figures had become incredibly collectible. If you remember Nintendo collecting back in the day, you think it's bad now. There was a point in the 2000s where those Toy Biz Zelda figures were going for, no joke, hundreds of dollars, even loose. I knew this Link figure was a collectible piece, and I actually treasured this figure. I even distinctly remember this was how desperate I was. I made my own makeshift Legend of Zelda toy line. I had this singular Link figure, and he rode the Indiana Jones horse from the Crystal Skull line. That was my Epona. Uh, I took a Princess Leia figure, I believe from the 2007 or 8 collection. And then I was really desperate with Ganon or Ganondorf. So I think I just took a Sith figure. It might have been Darth Bane, one of those EU characters. I didn't know who he was. And I just put him in like a big cloak and stuffed a bunch of action figure armor on him. And that was my Ganon. And then I took a bunch of octopus bath toys and lined them up as an army. And those were my Octoroks. And that was my Legend of Zelda toy line, only owning one Link figure. That's it. Uh, in the, the many years since, uh, there's been a lot more Zelda toys. I know Jack Specific, about 10 years ago, really took a crack at the Zelda line, but it was to varying degrees of success. I've even owned a few of them. I think they did Wind Waker Link 
Uh, they did a couple of Ocarina of Time figures, and then they did like a micro collection where you could build all of Hyrule. But it just wasn't up to snuff. Some of the figures looked really bad. Like, they did not hold a candle to these vintage Toy Biz figures that I always felt were the definitive Zelda toys. I've actually found some of these figures now while flea market hunting, which is hilarious because uh, I would look through boxes of horses, no joke, like 2007, 8, I would look through boxes of horses looking for Epona. Convinced that somewhere in like a collection of briar horses, I would find this incredibly rare Zelda horse for my Link figure. And a couple of weeks ago, like end of 2022, I went to Savos Thrift. There was a bag of briar horses and the prophecy came true. I saw this horse in there and I'm like, well, that's a cool horse. I could use that with my fantasy figures. I like how it's kind of mean looking, mean looking horse. And I see the Triforce on the side and I'm like, this, this is the Toy Biz Epona. Unfortunately, it's not as, well, I say unfortunately, but I don't care about the money. I really don't. It's not as valuable as it used to be. These Toy Biz figures have really dipped in value thanks in no small part to today's topic, which is some Zelda figures I'm going to be looking at here. But real quick, before we get to these new Zelda figures, a couple, couple other highlights from the collection. I have the action figure of Impa. My, my dad surprised me with this figure. He bought this and said, I saw this at the swap meet and this elf lady looked like you. I'm like, elf lady? Father, don't you know? That's Zelda's mom. Yeah, Princess Zelda's mom got an action figure. It was the 1990s, it was an incredible time. And just wait a second, let's appreciate this action figure for a second. Uh, the armor, the body, damn, Zelda's mom has got it going on. Like, for an old lady, she's kind of smoking, okay? Plus, I love her big goat-like elf ears. I love it when they give elf characters like giant big elf ears. Like there's some sort of creature or animal. It's so much more fun than just a, a human guy with little pointy spock ears. Like this, this is an elf right here. And then finally, uh, I have the, I guess I call this gift shop Link. This is a really kind of crummy Link action figure. I know he looks cool on screen, but you have to hold it in your hands. He is so cheap and chintzy. And look, look at his sad sword. Look at that. That is pathetic. This was sold as part of a gift set with Zelda and Ganondorf. And it was like something you'd buy at like a gift shop. And they just, they look like museum action figures. Like, like, a, like something you'd buy at the Smithsonian gift shop. They're really, really bad figures. So it's been rough for Zelda fans looking to own a fun action figure. There's been high-end collector stuff, but nothing really for the kids. It's playable and fun. Not since those Toy Biz figures. Well... 2023 out of nowhere, I'm browsing Instagram, I like to look under the uh, hashtags toy hunting, toy collecting, just to see what's out there. And seemingly, with no announcement at all, Jack Specific has decided to revisit the Zelda action figure line a decade later from an entirely new lens. So I have Link and Zelda, these are brand new figures that have just came out, they are exclusive to Walmart stores in America. I don't know what the availability is for other countries, but here in the U.S., they are Walmart only. And if you toy collect, you know what a hassle Walmart is. These are not easy to find. Coffee break? Coffee break? Before we even open these figures, we have to talk about availability. These two action figures are not easy to find. They're very difficult. I don't know why they aren't shipping these by the case pack. You'd think articulated action figures of Link and Zelda is something every kid and adult would want to have. I mean, these have not been available. These are Playline Link and Zeldas. And when I open these, you're going to see how great these are. Because these figures are impressive. They're really impressive. The paint apps, the articulation, even the scale is good. They look like they're about five to six inches tall. I saw some people calling them Zel Zelda Marvel Legends because of how good the articulation is and for the scale and for a $9.99 price point, like, how can you say no? These are 10 bucks in 2023. There's $10 action figures that look like this. 
These look like like something you'd see Bondi make, like an import. They're way too good for us American toy collectors. We usually get some pretty chintzy stuff. Come to think of it, the only way I can describe the scale is that they, are they, are they Shrek scale? They are. These are Shrek scale Zelda figures. 5.5 inches is now officially known as Shrek scale, okay? So these are Shrek compatible Zelda figures, which automatically makes them the best Zelda figures ever made as far as I'm aware. But yeah, 10 bucks and they're impossible to find. There's technically more figures in this line that I don't have because this is part of a Nintendo, I guess, selection that's going on at Walmart. They have Metroid, they have the Super Mario Brothers movie toys with a fire-breathing Bowser, and I guess now they're incorporating Pokemon into this line, and they already have the Sonic line. So Jack Specific owns the video game action figure market, and I'm okay with that because they make pretty good stuff. The Sonic and Mario lines are great, and I'm really happy to see them make Zelda Put that into the fold. Okay, that is enough rambling. It is time to finally crack open the Link and Zelda action figures that I have wanted since I was seven years old. I wish I could have had figures this cool. So let's, uh, let's tear them open. And I just wanted a Zelda figure forever. So we're gonna crack this open. Like every new action figure you have to Link. Opening Link. Well, here he is. Link's head sculpt is nothing to write home about, but it gets the job done, and given the complex design of the character, I'm impressed with how it came out. The real showstopper piece, however, is his tunic. It's beautifully detailed, and the tons of articulation is incorporated into the figure in such a way that it doesn't hinder the gorgeous sculpting work that completely replicates the 3D model from the game. The paint apps are completely flawless. My figure has no issues whatsoever. Seriously, this paint is so good. It looks like a gentle giant statue. There's no bleed over. There's no like random dabs of paint. I can't remember the last time I had an action figure this clean looking. The articulation is butterfly joints, which you almost never see on a toy line that isn't Marvel Legends or collector focused. It's really cool to see a kid's toy with this much articulation, and I think kids will have a lot of fun having Link in all sorts of epic battle poses and action. I would have killed for this kid figure as a kid. I know I keep saying that, but it's just a dream come true. All the joints walk with no issues. Nothing was stiff. Even his foot has a joint. Seriously, the last time I remember a foot joint on a figure was the 2002 Spider-Man movie line. That's an amazing toy line, one of the best. So this figure is an absolute winner. The sculpt, fantastic. The paint, fantastic. The articulation, just plain fun. Zelda has a little less in the articulation department, but it really doesn't matter. Look at her sculpt. She looks gorgeous and beautiful. I've never seen an action figure of Zelda actually make her pretty, but she looks great. Her outfit, again, is beautifully detailed like Link's and has no flaws whatsoever. She's even got extra features like her little pouch here that sculpted onto the figure. And yeah, I mean, she's beautifully sculpted. I don't know how else to say that without sounding weird, but this Zelda figure is gorgeous. They didn't even do her in her dress with all her makeup, and they still captured her beauty in this relatively action figure. This is a Zelda that's action-oriented, which has never been done before. All previous Zeldas have been in large ball gown dresses. This one features her in her sort of scientist outfit from Breath of the Wild. Her legs are detailed and articulated, her arms have butterfly hinges, and she even comes with the Sheikah Slate, an accessory essential for play and recreating the scenes of Breath of the Wild. It's a wonderful accessory. It's not sculpted, it really is just a flat piece of plastic with stickers, but the stickers are so well applied, and evenly applied, that I thought it was sculpted. It didn't even occur to me that the details are not etched onto the tablet, but rather just stuck on. Now, Zelda does have a spot for her Sheikah Slate to attach, but because the plastic was stayed so brittle, that being kind of a rubber, it doesn't attach to her belt. Same goes with Link. He has two spots for the Shika slate to clip on, but unfortunately, you just can't clip it. It's the only downfall of these figures, but I'm willing to forgive it given how fun these are. Plus, I don't think I'm ever going to have Zelda stash the Shika slate away. It's something she uses a lot. Link uses it a lot too. It's basically the Wii U tablet. And uh, yeah, I, I think they'll look great holding their weapons. Link's sword is a little plain, it's not the Master Sword, but Breath of the Wild is about equipping different weapons and going on unique adventures, and I can't imagine 
all the fun adventures you'd have with these figures. I know I'm going to have a lot of fun photographing these guys. So there you have it. Link and Princess Zelda as 5.5 inch nicely articulated figures. Truly living up to what I'd always wanted as a kid. Link and Zelda figures that you can really play with. Have there been nicer collector figures of Link and Zelda? Maybe there's been some more high-end stuff, but there's never been anything as fun as these. And that's what these are. These are fun. You can really display these in action-oriented poses and play with them on fun adventures. Who knows what kind of monsters they can fight? Because they don't have Ganon, but they do have all sorts of other fantasy action figures that they would be compatible with. So I am really, really happy with these. For $10, the price point is just amazing. And I can't wait to see what they do next. Jack Specific really hit a home run with these figures. Let's hope that they don't, you know, drop off the line like they did before. So I had a lot of fun opening these up, playing with these, and getting some really cool photos. So please enjoy those. And uh, thank you for watching. to go save Hyrule now with my with my action figures. Slink. Zelda. There they go. Dun 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 dun